In this video, we're going to focus on how we can put in labels here on our scatter chart, or more specifically, titles that will specify the type of units or values they are for our scatter chart here. So let's start to explore how to do this. In this video, we're going to answer one of the viewers' questions, which is how to add scale titles in Chart.js. So this question came from one of my other videos about how to set a custom string label on the y-axis in Chart.js. Then if we scroll down here, we can see here a question came from Benjamin Lombard. A special thank you to, to Benjamin for asking this question. And this is what Benjamin asks. Great fits. Well, thank you very much. Can you do a video on how to label the x-axis and y-axis on the chart your scatter plot? For example, per 100,000 below the x-axis tick numbers. All right, so I'm going to show you exactly that because I assume you just want to have a title underneath. And I'm also going to show you as well if you want to play around with the x and y axis as well. So what we're going to do here is the following. We need to have here, first of all, our default code. So make sure you go to charges3.com, getting started. For some reason, I get this error here on Google Chrome. Don't know why. Anyway, on Firefox, it works fine. But what I want here is this specific code here. If you would like to understand what this code does, this will explain the entire JavaScript of that code. So we're going to paste this in here. Once we paste that in here, I'm going to just move the title in here so I know the title of this specific video. Save that, then refresh. There we are. So now, once I did this, I get a default bar chart here. But the request was not a bar chart. The request was specifically on a scatter chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a quick scatter chart based on this. So what I'm going to do here, I will say here, this will be a scatter type, but if we do scatter, I want to just remove all these colors here. We don't need all these, these background colors and border colors. We only want one single color. All right, so that's just an extra, extra item. And then what I want to do here is this, because this needs to be solved here. So I'm going to put enter, enter, and then in here, I'm going to put in curly braces. We say X. And then, well, if it's um, somewhere with 100,000, so I assume that the points may range somewhere 100,000 up to a million. So I'm going to put in here just something very simple. I say 100,000, comma, and I say y. Maybe y will be a uh, another value. Let's say number two. Very simple. So we have 100,000 value, and then we have units of two, comma, paste, paste. Oh, sorry, that is not what I wanted. All right, apologies. Don't save. Press the wrong button. Ignore that. All right, so we have this here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put in here and then some random numbers here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. And this can be here, uh, maybe uh, five, seven, nine, 10, 13, and then here 15. So if I save this now and refresh, you should have now a scatter chart here. And we have here 100,000. So we can play around with this as well by setting is 100,000. But I guess that is not the request here. The request is specifically the units here. So what we're going to do is the following. Let's play on the uh, x-axis first, because that's the one we needed to adjust it. So we're putting a comma, and then we say here the following. In here, I will say here a uh, title. And then within here, we can say here display. We set this on true. So we're going to make a title. Basically here, we're going to create a title here underneath. And then what we want to do here is the following. We're going to grab this here, and then we say comma, and then what we want to do here as well is the text that we would like to display. And this text would be uh, per 100,000. So if we do this, we should maybe have a comma here, that would make sense. Save that. Refresh. Now we have this per 100,000. Of course, it's very counterintuitive from what we say here. So that would be 100,000 by 100,000. Uh, so let's adjust that one as well. I guess this should be just one, two, three. Then what I want to do here as well, as well as on the y axis eventually. Save that. Refresh. There we are. Let's do the y axis as well. What we can do here is the following on the y axis. It says you begin at zero. That is fine. And we can say here, maybe a text, we can just copy this entire structure, comma here, paste this in here for the title, set this on display true, because by default it is set on false. That's why we don't see anything here. 
it always hides it because Charger doesn't know what kind of unit you're going to use here. And we can say here, uh, units per unit, per unit or per car, I don't know, per car, anything. Per car, per unit, whatever. And there we are. So with this, you can play around with it. And of course, we could give this some font color and anything. Say here, um, a font, I'm not sure if it's font or font color. So let's try this, red. If I save this, no. Then in this case, it should be font color. Save that, refresh, and apparently it doesn't work as well. All right, I'll just check it. Well, after checking, it makes sense, of course. In CSS, they use the same term, so they use color here for the font. So if you do this red, in that case, you will see, you know, and this becomes red as well. So with this, you can play around with, you can control and adjust your items here as well. So to represent different values and having a title here, basically. So if you enjoyed this video, and since you're working on a scatter chart, I have another video that might be of interest of you as well, is where you can put in data labels on your scatter chart here. And this is a scatter chart that we converted into a line chart, but it's not a line chart, it's based on a scatter chart with certain tweaks. And then we eventually put in here certain values as well that we can highlight or basically adding up the data labels here. Because by default, a scatter chart is not allowed to use or cannot be used with the data labels plugin. That means that we need to customize this. And this is an interesting topic as well.